hello everyone uh, today i'm gonna just uh, do a quick uh, tip and tricks about uh, destructuring so this is a small series where i'm gonna just show some tips and tricks and really a uh, small video and so we're gonna start so destructuring i think it's a really powerful tool and that's why i want to show you and i use it a lot in my uh, tutorial so uh, so I'm gonna start so just for be sure I'm gonna just show you uh, pretty log it's really simple it's just um, a helper where I'm gonna just JSON stringify my logs and make it better I'm using webpack for using lattice uh, ES6 stuff and nothing more I've already set up some uh, basic uh, stuff to make me uh, able to teach you faster so here we're gonna do uh, the basic object so first thing we're gonna destructuring an object so when i talk about destructuring you're gonna see why this is really powerful it's because like we all know in javascript when we want example to here i want to get the name of my user i'm gonna do something like user.name so now if i run that inside my uh, uh command line here i get uh, my name so emmanuel yeah so we all know that but with destructuring, we can make your uh, the life easier. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do const. I'm gonna say name equal user. If I do this now, I, after that, I can do pretty log, and I'm gonna put the name. If I do this now, I run my code, I get the same thing. So now name become a variable. So finally, you take off this variable coming in from the object, but you must be sure this variable is the same name here again you can do so this with other stuff uh, you want to have the location you can uh, log the location too and look here i get the location who it's an object and this is everything so you can do this with everything also you can destructuring uh, one step further i can destructuring my state so here example i'm going to remove that and I'm gonna say inside my location, give me my state. If I do this and I console log state, now you're gonna see I get Quebec. So it's perfect. But now what happens if I try to log location? You're gonna see here the location is not good now because this is not location with the structuring, it's state. So uh, you need to keep that in mind. It's when you destructuring again a step uh, further then that make um, uh, your other step not working. Perfect. So here after that, we're gonna jump on the uh, destructuring object which we named. So here I'm gonna do again, cunt name equal uh, user. But here maybe I want to change that to be first name and I'm gonna make use of the uppercase. So here that's gonna be first name. And here now, if I log this one, look what's gonna happen. It's still working. Now first name become the variable of this destructuring method here. So that can be really awesome to just change some name. So maybe like you're gonna get a, you're gonna receive something coming example for the back end in the front end and you want to just change the variable name so you can do something like that and you don't need to put it inside uppercase. If I want I can make it lowercase and they're gonna still work. So just for showing you I'm gonna save and I'm gonna rerun and that work again. So that was the object with rename. After that here, I'm gonna show you the rest. The rest is something awesome. I'm gonna have a video about rest and spread operator, so the three little dot uh, in next week on or month. But this one, it's really awesome. Here, I am gonna do cons, example, name, dot, uh, comma, I'm gonna say dot, 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 and I'm gonna call that rest. You don't even need to put the name rest here. You can give it the name you want. If I want, I can give it others, everything. But now if I log this thing and I log rest, what you think gonna happen? If you say that gonna take everything I have after name, you have true. So rest take everything after the variable you have already destructuring. So if I put nothing, that gonna give me everything. If I put name and I put location like that, that's gonna give me only profession. 
So the rest mean you keep, finally, that's what I, I mean, we call that rest. It's you take all the other parts. So. so this part was about the object. So as you can see, that can make your life so much easier after that. And this is a really powerful tool. So time to jump on the array. So now here we have an array, so I call it animal. So here we have uh, dogs, cat and fish. So a basic array. So here all you can destructuring in, inside an array. It's by open square bracket. And I'm gonna call my first animal, animal one. So you can give the name you want. So you, we don't have rename in, in array because you give it the name already you want. And I'm gonna say animal, so the my uh, array right there. Now if I uh, log my animal, one look what's gonna happen and i'm gonna just get my first one here if i want to get my animal two example i can give it that or maybe i'm gonna call this one already cat because we know that's gonna be a cat i'm gonna call cat and i'm gonna receive again the same thing so this is the way you can basically um basically a destructuring inside an array after that array with default so I'm going to show you after that in, with an object how you can have default with the function, but with an array too, you can have default function. So what I mean is if this stuff is undefined or null, you're going to have default value. So here what I'm going to do, it's here we have three animals. So I'm going to say uh, dog, cat, fish, and I'm going to say here maybe like uh, beard. And I'm gonna say equal to, uh, I don't know, like a name. So John, something like that. And I'm gonna say animal. Now on beer, we know we have nothing. But if I pretty log this thing, and I pretty log my beer like that, I'm gonna get, oh, I get an error. Oh, because we have cat already, sorry. So I'm gonna change this one to be animal too. Yeah, so now if I run that, I get John, so I get the default value of the bird. But example, if I came here and I create a bird like that and two legs, and now I do the same thing, now I'm gonna get my bird. So finally, if I have something, I get my thing. If I have nothing, I get John here. So you can set up default value. So this thing is working. So now we're gonna jump with array and ignore. So here what I'm gonna do, it's I'm gonna say const, and I don't want to have the dog, I only want to have the cat. But I don't want to give a name there, dogs, because like, I mean, we don't have an infinite name in the mind. So here what I'm gonna do, it's I'm gonna just put the comma. So here I ignore something, and I'm gonna say, uh, example, uh, uh, I'm gonna call that, uh, so I'm gonna just, Coming out this one for now, I'm gonna say cat and I'm gonna say animal. And now, if I log my cat, oh, log, I'm gonna receive my cat because I have ignore one. Maybe your cat gonna be the, the third one, or here I want to have the fish. I'm gonna put another, oh, I'm gonna put another comma right there. So here I say ignore. The first two one, so one and two gonna be ignored right there. And now if I log this thing again, I get my fish. So just here, I just make my life easier for naming and stuff, and I just make it like we ignore the stuff. And you don't need to put space. I mean, I can just put the two comma like that, and that's gonna still work. I just put space because that makes sense for me here. So after that. We can have to an array with rest. So here I can do like we do in the in uh, the object. I'm gonna say uh, give me here the dog, and but all the other stuff gonna be called inside uh, an, a variable called rest. And now if I do pretty log, and I log my rest, what I'm gonna get it's my two animal who left. And now I get again a duplication. So finally what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in out everything for now, like that. And now if I make it work, now I get my cat and my fish. Because my I get my dogs 
and I don't get and I don't want to get uh, like all this stuff here become inside my variable res. And here you can do something like I don't want to have the dog, I want to have the cat, but I want to have all the rest, and that's gonna make the fish because I say don't give me the dog, give me the cat, and the rest become all the other stuff. That can be really useful when you want to maybe get like the first item inside an array and put the other one just inside a variable so you can keep the track on it and do stuff you want with. Perfect, so here that was array and object. So now we can jump with function. So example here, I'm gonna have a function called uh, maybe greeting. And here, like that, and here for now, I'm gonna just return a console log. And I'm gonna say, so here I'm gonna say uh, argument. So args, and I want to have my hello. I'm gonna say args that name who have h of and args that uh, h. So now here, if I do, um, I'm gonna say pretty, sorry, pretty log, like that. So now here, if I call my function, Greeting log, and now that need to be an object because we have name and age. So I'm gonna say name of maybe John and age of uh, 55. If I do this and I run my code, now I'm gonna get hello John who have age of 55. For the one who don't know, this back tip is the string interpolation coming from ES6. So when you use the dollar sign curly bracket, you make you you can put your variable there. So it's much simpler than old string uh, old string with JavaScript. So now here, I have my greeting. That's perfect, but I mean here, I, I need to keep track on my args and put args if you were. So what I can do, I can destruct string right there. So I'm gonna destruct string the age and the name coming in from the object. And now I'm gonna remove args from both sides and my function gonna still work. So you see, you can destruct string. For the one coming in from React, we do a lot of this stuff and uh, you see me do a lot of this stuff too in my tutorial so so now here we have the greeting and everything but here like we did with the stuff here with the default value we can default value an object too so here I'm gonna say if I have no name I'm gonna say this is Jane and she's gonna have a, like a 68 years old and now if I run this now I get my stuff running because my name and my age over, over um, go on this uh, default value. Because remember, the default value gonna work if name is undefined. Like I mean here, I can, I can maybe don't put the name and age like that. And now if I call, do you think that's gonna work? And no, because now read what happening here. Cannot match against undefined or null. So what that means, it's here we try to match versus nothing. But yes, oh, can I make it work? Yes, it's pretty simple here. The only thing you need to do is add equal in an empty object. So finally, you're gonna match this stuff against this empty object and not against nothing. So now if I run the code, now I get hello Jane, who have age of 68 because my uh, name, because I put nothing, I get Jane and I get 68. Here, if I came here and I put name and I say John and I save this thing here, I'm gonna get hello John who have 68. I don't give an age, so my age is, I get the default value right there. So that was the basic of the function and here I'll just show you how you can have default value, remember, this uh, equal an empty object if you don't get this error of match on the fine. After that, we want to have the function res. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, cop oh, I'm gonna copy paste this right there. I'm gonna use the same function. I'm gonna uncomment this function. But now here, what I'm gonna do, it's this one. We're gonna have only name, and I want res like that. Now here, I'm gonna add name, age of 65, and country, I'm gonna say Canada, like that. And now, like you know, I'm sure you already know if you follow all the video, rest gonna be equal to everything, but now the thing is, 
like if I put my rest here, I'm gonna get here object of object. So now you just need to keep in mind the rest become an object too. So the rest become an object of the age and country right there. So now if I want to have the age, I'm gonna need to say rest that age. And now I'm gonna be able to have my 65 years old coming in from here. And that's work too. If I say country here, and now I run that, now I'm gonna get an error because name is not anymore that. So I'm gonna say hello country, something like that. And I'm gonna run. And now they're gonna still work. Hello Canada will have an age of 65. I know that don't make sense, but at least you see what I mean. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video for helping you understand this structuring. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Please click the like button if you think uh, that was a good one. And uh, let me know in the comments if you like this uh, little video. And uh, so we're going to talk later. I'm, I think I'm going to talk about the rest and the spread operator. So hope you enjoy. And we talk later. Have a good night. Bye.